Hey team, Blake here with Crushing Defeat Media. Welcome to another video. A couple days ago, we got a pretty big update on the housing lottery crisis in Final Fantasy XIV, so I thought I would make a quick video to cover this with you all so you don't have to read it yourself. There is important information here for folks whose lotteries hang in the balance, so where it came up winner zero, that type of thing, and for the rest of us who are interested in purchasing plots going forward, the available plots that come up. So let's get into it. Crushing Defeat Media. First, we got a little bit of information from Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. And he says, I thank you for your continued patience as we work to resolve the ongoing issues with the housing lottery system from patch 6.1. The issues have been extensive and persistent, and he apologizes for the time it's taken to resolve them. However, he did report that they have completed a lot of the fixes and are ready to move forward. So they've reproduced the issue, they've identified the errors and are fixing them, they're verifying these fixes, and then they've also been able to find and restore the lottery data. So they've completed the steps above that I just mentioned and identified and corrected the issues and are ready to commence this correction with the system maintenance that's coming on May 16th. So this Monday, they will be conducting maintenance to restore lottery results data and the maintenance will fix the errors that they've identified and most importantly, properly relay the lottery results for those that are hanging in the balance. So winning lottery numbers will display correctly and land purchases may be finalized at that point. Any temporary suspensions on plot purchases and relocations will be lifted. And this, this next part's important. So if you have a winning lottery number, please make sure to finalize your land purchase by Thursday, May 26th, at 7 59 a.m pdt so you've got 10 days which is longer than the normal cycle will be you have 10 days from monday may 16th to thursday may 26th this is for a couple reasons i expect one just to give people extra time but two it gives square annex extra time to go through make sure everything's working correctly make sure everything's happening correctly that type of thing then at 8 a.m on Thursday, May 26th, for the rest of us, the housing lottery will resume and any plots that are now available for lottery ticket purchases will become available. So I've already put that date of Thursday, May 26th at 8 a.m. in my phone, so I'm ready. So you'll have five days to buy lottery tickets and then four days to check results and either you know, get your plot or not get your plot, which is what will happen to most of us. But if it starts at 8 a.m. on the 26th, so that would be until 8 a.m. on the 27th, 8 a.m. on the 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, right? So that's five days. So you'll have until 8 a.m. PDT on the 31st to buy lottery tickets for the next lottery cycle. So if you're one of the ones who wants to wait until the very last minute to see which plots have the fewest number of entries that way you know what that schedule is the only thing I, I would say is with how especially from a personal plot perspective with how few there are i don't think it's going to matter i think every plot's going to have a bazillion entries but i'll talk about that more in just a second this next part's real interesting for people who win the lottery so for winning per uh, for winning participants who already received a gill refund due to winning lottery number zero error, if you've already taken that back, once lottery data has been restored, some participants may discover that they had in fact won the lottery despite already receiving a refund. However, even if your deposit was refunded due to this system error, your ability to finalize the purchase of a one plot will remain unaffected. So if you still have a deposit sitting out there and you want to effectively get that for free, you might want to go see if you can get that deposit back. In patch 6.2, they plan to implement an NPC by which you may voluntarily return the deposit you were accidentally refunded. So if you want to 
kind of do the right thing, if, if you feel like that's the right thing to do, there will be an NPC at 6.2 that you can go and give that deposit back to. Now, they're not going to require that people pay for those plots where there were issues, the winners. Um, what I would guess is that the NPC will probably give you something for doing that. So for doing, quote unquote, the right thing, if that's what you feel the right thing is, I'm not going to judge either way. But if you give that back, feel like the NPC will give something in return. My guess would be a title because that's something that wouldn't upset the rest of us. Um, but it would be a very rare and very cool title. Maybe it's something like Honest Eorzean or I don't know. That's all I could think of off the top of my head. If you've got a better idea for the title, put it down in the comments. But this is just a guess. I may be completely wrong here, but I feel like if they're going to implement an NPC where you can voluntarily return the deposit that you were refunded, that that NPC would give something in return. And the easiest one to me, the one that makes the most sense, would be a title. A really rare title. But anyway, I wish you all the best of luck in the lottery. I hope we all get the housing plots that we want. I know I will be throwing down on a new plot once the new cycle starts. We did not get any information on the lifting of plot or ward restrictions for personal versus free companies. So that's bothering me a little bit. So if we get any new news on that, I will share it with you here. Hopefully that's something that we see in the next patch notes, because if you watch this video here, uh, you'll know that that's mathematically a, a big problem. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will close with Naoki Yoshida's closing remarks. In closing, I would like to thank you all once again for your patience and understanding this past month and extend my deepest apologies for the trouble and inconvenience these issues have caused. We will do everything in our power to safely restore your data, fix any remaining issues, and bring you all a fair and functional housing lottery system that should include not word restrictions. Thank you for your continued support. So thank you team for your continued support and we will see you in the next video.